Hello everyone, this is me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet this mini backpack. With this mini backpack that I did first, I used a crochet thread and a 1.75 millimeter crochet hook. Now, this is just about 3 inches in height and you can definitely make this bigger if you're going to use a bigger hook. So for this video, I'll be using this 5mm crochet hook and I'm going to be using this Love Nuts. It's high bulk acrylic yarn and the recommended size is number 4 but I'll be using number 5 because I want my tension to be a bit loose and you can follow the recommended hook size number four or you can go one hook size smaller than the recommended one say 3.5 millimeter crochet hook if you want it to be if you want your attention to be a bit tighter so without further ado let's get started Now for the base, we're going to start with working in rounds. With this project, I have worked in spiral rounds, but for beginners, I will be doing slip stitching after the end of each round, chain one, and then work one single crochet into the same stitch. So that's what we'll be doing so that it will be easy to follow. Alright, so now I'm going to first make uh, a magic ring. So hold the end of the yarn on your left hand and then wrap it around your two fingers like that. And then put this working yarn in the middle. And then insert your hook in there. So grab this working yarn here. So now you made a magic ring. On the first round, we're going to chain one. This will not count as a stitch. This will only bring up the yarn. So into this magic ring, we're going to work six single crochets. So one, Two, three, four, five, six. Once you have six single crochets in there, you're going to pull this end tail here. And then this is the first single crochet, not the chain one here. The first single crochet, we're gonna insert the hook into those two loops. So you can push the loops with your fingers. And then yarn over and slip stitch. Next is on round two, we're going to make an increase. So we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch. But before we do that, we're going to bring up the yarn. And to do that, we're going to chain one every time. And then into the same stitch. So this is the same stitch where we did our slip stitch we're gonna go through that hole through that stitch 
and work two more single crochets one and then two now into each of the next five single crochets we're gonna do two single crochets so you will be just repeating that until you get to the last stitch this is what it looks like after finishing round two but we're not really finished yet because we haven't slip stitched so into the first single crochet made which is here not the chain one this doesn't count as anything so into the very first single crochet made on this round we're gonna work a slip stitch in there and then round two is done now to make a circle we're going to keep increasing so as we move on to the next round we will be slip stitching chain one one single crochet into the same stitch and then this time we will just do an increase into every second stitch of this round only so into the next stitch or the second stitch we're gonna do the increase and we will be repeating that sequence so one into the next stitch and then two into the next until we get back around so one in here and then two into the next stitch or into every second stitch that is what we call an increase and if we keep on increasing into the next rounds you will see that our circle is growing so just keep repeating that sequence until you get to the last stitch of this round so now I'm into my last two stitches I've already did one and then two single crochets into the very last stitch now you will know that you did it right once you get to the last stitch and you ended up with two single crochets so it has to be in that sequence otherwise if you ended up with one single crochet that means that somewhere on the previous round you have missed adding one stitch so it's best if you're going to keep your counting right every round so we started out with six and then we're gonna double that stitch and so on round two it's gonna be 12 single crochets and then into the third round you're gonna add six so 12 plus 6 that's gonna be 18 single crochets now as we move on to the next round we're gonna add another six so it's gonna be 18 plus 6 so that will be 24 now to end this round three we're gonna slip stitch on top of the first single crochet so that's what we'll be doing at the end of each increasing round we will be slip stitching into the very first single crochet not the chain one to end each round now because we're going to work an increase again we're going to do the increase this time into every third stitch so we're gonna chain one one single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet into the next so we now have one and two individual single crochets now into the third that is when we will be working two single crochets or an increase 
So into every third stitch of this round only, that is where we're going to add an increase. So imagine as you grow the circle, you keep increasing and adding six stitches into the next round. So that's how we make the circle bigger. Now you will just be repeating the sequence until you get to the last stitch and you should end up with an increase or two single crochets into the last stitch. Alright, so now I have three stitches left. So I'm gonna work my one there, one into the next stitch, and into the last stitch, I'm gonna work two single crochets or increase. I will know that this is my last stitch since this stitch is still part of the first one because this is where we did our chain one and then into that same stitch we did the first single crochet so that's how you know that this one isn't the last stitch it's actually the first one so where your first chain is it doesn't count as the last stitch it's the first one so the last thing that we're gonna do every time is to end the round, we're gonna work a slip stitch on top of the very first single crochet. So if you want a small mini backpack, you can stop right here. But if you would like to adjust the size or make it bigger, you can do that. So you will just keep increasing into the next few rounds now to keep doing an increase you must be able to get the exact numbers around so in my case I do not have to count as long as as I started with six single crochets in there I have 12 here and then plus six I have 18 and then 24 plus 6 so into the next round I'm gonna have 30 now there's a trick here so you don't have to count every time into the next round we're gonna chain one one single crochet into the first stitch as chain one one single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next so into the in the previous round we did into every third stitch that's where we added the increase now as you move on to the next round it's gonna move into the fourth now when you take a look at the previous increase so this is the uh, second single crochet of the increase of the previous round so this is where we usually add the increase every time we move on to the next round especially when we want to make this circle grow bigger so that's a trick you don't need to count for as long as you know the pattern for each round so obviously into the next round it's going to be into every fifth stitch and that's going to be into the second single crochet of the increase so that is where we usually work an increase into the second single crochet so just keep on increasing until you get the size that you want for this mini backpack so that's going to be the base and you can stop whenever you think that the circle is big enough. Once you get the uh, base of your circle and you're satisfied with the size of this base for the bag, now we're gonna stop increasing this time and this is the easiest part actually because we're just going to work 
one single crochet into every stitch around so to start we're going to chain one and then one single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet into every stitch until we get back around all right so i just did two rounds of just one single crochet into every stitch around now i'm gonna work a slip stitch to end around there now because we're going to make this a very simple one like with this mini bag that i just made i did change the color after the last round of one single crochet into every stitch but with this one i did it in spiral round so this one is different so instead of working in spiral round we did slip stitch at the end of each round so what i'm gonna do is to change the color i'm just going to chain one and then cut the yarn And then after that, I'm gonna get the uh, multicolored yarn. This one is so much better, especially if you just want a very simple design for your mini backpack. And you can use a scrap yarn if you want. I think that would be much better. You can play with different colors that you have. Just make sure that you'll be using the same kind of yarn for, for the mini bag that you're gonna make. Now into the same stitch as where we slip stitched and chain one, you're going to insert the hook in there and that is where we're going to start our next round of single crochets and rounds. And this time there will be no more increasing. So meaning we will just work until we get the height that we want for the mini bag so there are two ways to do it so you just get this yarn here hold the end tail and then grab the yarn there chain one and then you can tie both tails at the back and then work one single crochet into the same stitch so that's one option now the next one is you can work a slip knot And then into the same stitch is where we slip stitched. Grab the yarn and then we have already done one single crochet in an instant. So you can choose which one you like best. And then I will go with the second option here. And then I will just bury this tail here so that I don't have to weave in this later. So one single crochet into each stitch until I get back around. Okay, so I am almost near the end of the stitch, but I want to bury this tail here so that I don't have to leave in the end later so once I get to the stitch which is close to this end tail I'm going to bury that until I get to the last stitch So um, 
the number of stitches will still remain the same because we, we've been working one single chain to every stitch so if you end the increase with let's say 24 single crochets for each round the total amount would be the same as the last increase that we did and now um, this is chain one so uh, this is not the last stitch because this is where we chained one and if you're not sure about that one you can count first to see if the total amount is the same as the last increase that you did so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna insert the hook into the very first single crochet that we've made and then work a slip stitch so there we ended the round with a slip stitch so now is the fun part because we will just be repeating that chain one into the same stitch we're gonna work one single crochet one single crochet into every stitch around until we get to the height that we like for this mini backpack once you get the height that you want um, in this bag the last two rounds I went back to the red one so what we're gonna do for the last two or three rounds we're gonna go back to this color here so to end this round, we're going to work a slip stitch on the very first single crochet made and then chain one to lock the stitch so that it will not come undone. And then the last two rounds will be working with this color again. So you can do two or three rounds or depending on what you like. So now I did three rounds of this plain color here and into that second row of the solid color that is where we're gonna sew the drawstring in. That's why we have three rounds of the main color or the solid color. Now for the last round, we're going to work our last single crochet. And then I'm going to cut the yarn, just leave a reasonable amount of a reasonable length for the tail and then what we're gonna do next is we're going to close off the stitch and this is what we're gonna do so we're going to insert the yarn needle from the back to the front of this first single crochet And then we're going to insert this yarn tail into the eye of the needle. So there. Now it's not finished yet. We're gonna go through this hole. This way it's going to create A chain on top that way this will look like an invisible join so as you can see there's no trace of where we ended the last round so the next step is we're going to hide the tail and I'm just going to sew through the first round here.
Then I'm gonna go back. So we usually do that so that it will not come undone. And then you can just cut the excess there. So now we're done. Now we're going to weave in this one as well. So since we did the uh, magic ring, we can just sew it around this area here. And then you can go through this hole. Then you can hide the tail like that. It doesn't matter for as long as it's hidden and it will not be seen from the outside. So make sure it stays within the inside of this stitch. And then you're gonna cut the excess yarn there we go so next is we're going to fold like the one that we did here so we're going to fold it like this We're going to push this two sides there to make this kind of fold. And you can fold it giving an allowance in here or maybe like this one. But I guess much better if you're going to leave a small space like that. There. Next is let's make the string. You can uh, use any container that has holes on the side. That way you can put the yarn through here. So if you're working with two yarns, two ball of yarns and they will not get tangled up because they're separated by this yarn going out here and it will save you time and then to start making the uh, drawstring you're going to make a slip knot so using the end tail of the yarn wrapping it around your finger just like when you're making a magic ring and then put the working yarn into the middle and then insert the hook and then pull both and that's it and then you're gonna yarn over chain up to the length that you would like so I've already chained 60 and you can chain more if you want now the next step is by working slip stitches into each stitch so to do that on the uh, second starting from the second chain from hook slip stitch into each chain this way it's going to make it thicker so go ahead and zip stitch into each chain until you get to the end of the chain all right so I'm at the last chain already and I'm gonna chain one and then I'm going to cut off the yarn 
Now before I hide these tails, what I'm gonna do is using the uh, yarn needle, I'm gonna sew this one through this middle round here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to insert this here and then I'm gonna go through at the back and then I'm gonna sew it again back to the front so that's how easy it is to make it as drawstring So that's it. And then you're going to just weave in these ends back to this part where it will be hidden. And then the next step would be making the uh, flap. It's going to be quite easy because we're going to work an increase only on this part right here and to do that we're gonna start working a slip knot and chain up to the length that we would like I'd probably gonna be chaining eight to start I'm gonna be using the multi colored or multi colored yarn so make a slip knot first and then chain Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What I usually do is I try to measure it up to where I want the end of the flap to be since I will still work a few more rounds until I get this length here so I might shorten this to just chaining probably six let's say six two three four five six so it all depends on the length that you want so three four five let's say I'll be chaining six and the last chain would be for the uh, turning chain and from the uh, second chain from hook i'll be working my first single crochet one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then into the uh, last stitch or the last chain we're gonna work three single crochets. So I now have two and then three. And then pull this tail over here. Sometimes it's difficult to pull, but it's okay. What I usually do is I get to the next available stitch and then pull it like that so that it will not create a big gap or a hole right there and then into the next stitch work one single crochet again next one single crochet until I get to the very last stitch one single crochet the next step is we're gonna go back and work in rows so we're going to chain one turn one single crochet into the same stitch as a chain one one single crochet into each stitch except when we get to the three single crochet or the increase that we did in here in the first row I call it row because we will be doing back and forth. 
so it's not going in the rounds. Now, this is where we did our three single crochets and we still have like one more before the group of three single crochets in here. So once we get to the three single crochets, we're going to make an increase into each of those three stitches, which means we will do two single crochets into each stitch. So you don't really have to count where you should work the increase for as long as you remember where you have added the increase from the first row. Now into the last four remaining stitches. So as you can see, one, two, three, four. We're gonna work one single crochet into each. So one, two, three, and four. Don't forget to catch the other loop. And you can cut this yarn off. You keep on increasing to make it bigger into the next row. So to do that, we're gonna chain one and then keep working one single crochet into each stitch except except when you get to the second of the uh, single crochet of the increase in the previous round so that is where we will be doing an increase so after chaining one work one single crochet into each of the next four two three four now when you get to the front you'll see much better where you should add an increase so so this is the, the second single crochet increase when you look at the back you just need to work one into the first of the two single crochets and then into the next one, you're gonna do two. Now, since we did three times of increase in the previous round, so we're gonna do that three times. So one single crochet into the next, two single crochets or increase into the next one in the next and then three or two single crochets into the last so we did three increases and then the rest of the remaining stitches we're gonna work one single crochet into each Now, you can check first whether the flap is just enough for the size, but I think we just need one more row of the flap. And because we only need, we only need one more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain one, turn, and you can just continue working just one single crochet into each stitch until you get to this middle part here where we're gonna work a loop for the button 
Now for the buttons, you can use beads or you can use snap buttons if you don't want to add a loop. So because I have snap buttons, I can choose to not add a loop but let me just show you how I do it just in case you want to make a loop so so when you get to the middle after doing the single crochet in there you can now work a loop so to work the loop you can chain up until you get the length of the button that you will be using for this flap so let's say only five and then into the same stitch as where you did your single crochet that is where you're gonna add it and then keep working one single crochet until you get to the last stitch so the last stitch is always looking like this. All right, so once you get to the last stitch, the next step would be is attaching the flap. So to attach the flap, you're going to just place it above this part here and then you're gonna insert the hook into the bottom of this single crochet here and then insert your hook into the last of the fold here and then work a single crochet so just keep on working single crochets on both stitches to attach the flap. So that's how easy it is to attach the flap. So making sure that you catch both loops. And then finally, work your last single crochet there. And then work a slip stitch into the next stitch there. So you can just cut this yarn off and weep in the ends and we're almost done now the, the last part would be adding the button and of course we're going to attach the strap now this one is done with only one piece so meaning you're going to chain up uh, to 60 I think I did 60 on this too and then instead of slip stitching like we did for the uh, drawstring what we're gonna do is on the back of each chain we're gonna work a single crochet now I did 60 chains and you can do more if you want and then on the uh, second chain from hook that is where we're gonna work 
or single crochet so I usually work on the back of the chain this way the edges of the strap will be even unlike when you're doing it the regular way so this is what I meant so if you're gonna be doing this strap the same way I did you can do it like this so that the edges will be the same as this one so you can see the chains are on top and it's the same on the other side so this is done only in one long strap now this is not the only mini backpack that I did if you're new to my channel you can check the other backpacks that I did um, I have other comments that said that they're not for beginners maybe they are not for beginners because of the uh, complicated stitches that I did so it's different I did Celtic weave stitch on the other one and then on the other one I did the uh, Moroccan towel stitch so if you're feeling more creative you can follow those tutorials you can check back on my previous videos you will see those mini backpacks that I made they're really great for making souvenirs or using it as a coin purse or using it as a gift bag you can put whatever in small stuffs inside and you know what if you're going to use a t-shirt yarn it's gonna make a you will be able to make a mini backpack for little girls and it's a great gift too so this one I used a crochet thread I think it's the size is about 10 and I used 1.75 millimeter crochet hook so it's a bit small and then this one is a bit bigger so you can adjust the size based on the kind of yarn that you're using if you're using a yarn that is thick it's going to come out bigger than this one so just keep working single crochets on the back of each chain and then we're going to attach it next after you get to the last stitch for the strap now the next part is you're gonna chain one and cut off the yarn okay so the next part is we're going to fold this into two so that it will make two straps so align them make sure that they are folded into two so that the length will be the same as the other one and then the next step is we're going to sew this part here using the yarn needle and some yarn sew through here so make sure to not sew around this part where the drawstring is around these just easy making sure that let's go back and forth until it's secured And then the next step is we're going to attach the other end of the back strap in here.